That's what I'm talking about. Get a little bit more intense with what you're doing in the gym. Cut out the nonsense. Cut out the weak-mindedness. Cut out the failure mindset. Well, hi, I'm John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Welcome back, first of all, to all of you who have been such faithful subscribers to my channel. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there. And girls, it's been fantastic, a great ride. Now, today, I'm talking about men over 50. In particular, men over 50 and your strongest body part. Okay, what is it? We're getting to it. And I'm going to tell you a little story to get there. Number one, I'm in the comments section of a few of my videos recently, taking a look at you know, some of the comments. And I, in particular, noticed the men over 50 videos. I've done series of them up till this point. And you guys know, I do them. It's called men over 50, but for lack of a better term. But I mean, as you get older, okay? And that's men and women too. And so as I'm addressing this and looking at the comment section, I happen to notice the prevailing, the majority of the commenters' attitudes with regards to any sort of intense or hard or, dare I say, heavy weight training. And you see I say that with utter disdain because that seems to be a sacrilegious word to use on any men or women over 50 to lift something heavy. And yes, I advocate that, yes. In good form, yes. For those who train and are healthy, yes. Okay, lift heavy weights in great form. How many ways do I need to say that? So, but the commenters, these guys and girls that are over 50, the large majority of them, I'm gonna split them into two categories. The large majority of them are very negative about getting really intense with the weights or even lifting a heavy weight, or even, God forbid, doing something like a heavy squat or a deadlift, which seems to be just you know, out of the question for the majority of the people that are over 50. They believe they're gonna blow their spine into next week. So obviously you guys know I don't believe that. And I don't train people that way either to avoid those exercises. Uh, I've been doing this for a very long time and training people successfully for a very long time safely. So those two groups I'm about to separate them into. We have on the one side uh, the group who are genuinely coming off of serious injury and or disease. Okay, we have a lot of people out there who are cancer survivors. Uh, we have a lot of people out there who have, you know, uh, seriously injured parts, broken parts of their bodies, whether it was in the gym or just in life, or some defending our country, you know, which I'm very thankful for, by the way. Uh, support the military 100% in our country. Uh, very honorable. So coming back from any one of those situations, obviously, uh, it's understandable. You have to do what the physical therapists have you to do initially. And then, as you go on your own, you feel your way. and. You know, hopefully get back to training hard along the way if it's possible. And I'm 100% supportive uh, of y'all in that situation in any way. And, and I can understand if there's a little bit of, you know, uh, a challenging tone to your comments and all of that. That's understandable. Uh, you, you have a battle that a lot of us will never know. And so I'm not getting on you guys' case at all. Really appreciate you know, the input and any way I can help here at Mr. America Heart, uh, of course, to address how to come back from certain injuries or anything like that. I try to do it as best I can to help you guys out. Now, on, on the this other end, hand, the ones that are so weak willed, weak minded, full of fear, don't even consider how strong they are now. The strongest body part is right there between your ears and you don't even know it. You guys, get on to the gym, write down your workout ahead of time, break your cheap, weak patterns that you've had up until now. Consider getting stronger. Consider driving yourself a little harder, week to week to week, a little bit more intensely, and reaping the rewards of that. 
both physically and mentally. I'm saying those things because your strongest body part is right between your ears. A 50-year-old, a 55-year-old, a 60-year-old, and I'm speaking from experience on this. At my age right now, as I speak to you, I'm 57. I would bitch slap my 37-year-old self all over the place. Both in the gym and just, I'd bitch slap myself all over the place, physically. <laughs> but most importantly, mentally. I would own myself at 37 right now. At 27. And most of you guys don't realize that. That as you get older, as you have more life experience, but yet have more victories along the way. What do I mean by that? I am encouraging you right now to get your butt in the gym with a planned workout with goals in mind and start having victories week to week. Achieve the goal. What's the goal? Is it to lift a little more weight? Is it to get that workout done in 45 minutes instead of the usual hour and a half because you're over here like this talking to all your friends in the gym? Put some headphones on. Go to the gym and ignore them. Be social when you're done working out. Be social before you work out. But once the headphones go on, you're training. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little bit more intense with what you're doing in the gym. Cut out the nonsense. Cut out the weak-mindedness. Cut out the failure mindset. I'm talking like this because... I can't stand reading some of your comments, to be honest. I care enough about you to say, stop it already. Don't be so fearful. Get yourself in the gym with a good plan. Get that plan, make the plan, stick to the plan. If you don't think you can make big jumps each week in weight or reps or each month, whatever, make a monthly plan of having some sort of increase in weight lifted or, I don't know, more repetitions, raising the intensity of those workouts. Choose one way of doing it. Have a victory. Get a victory going. Go in there don't. with the attitude that you're just not taking any prisoners. You're going in there to be victorious to dominate your own flesh. Bring it unto subjection and start telling it what to do and stop letting it tell you what to do. So just get it together, boys. That's it. That's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart. Hope you found some of this message encouraging, this video encouraging. I hope it helps you in your next training session. Oh... Thank you for listening. Now, off to my left, you're going to find a circle pop up. That's the subscribe button for my channel right there. Why don't you go ahead and give that thing a tap, please, if you're liking the videos that I'm doing. It lets YouTube know to notify you when my next video pops up. Now, down below over there, way down there, you're going to see a thumbs up button. Please give that a tap so it turns blue. It lets the YouTube algorithm know how much you like my videos, and I appreciate it very much. I'll see you next time.